Australia covers more than 2.9 million square miles and has got a diverse range of environmental conditions. This continent has become home to about 2,000 animal species, some of which dwell in tropical rainforests, others in deserts, and yet others on snow-capped mountain summits. But there is one animal that feels at home in any part of the continent and serves as Australia's primary predator. A cautious and skilled hunter with a dog-like appearance and a wolf-like demeanor. Meet the true king of the outback, the dingo. The dingo, or Canis lupus dingo, has the look of a medium-sized dog, with a body length of approximately 50 inches and a fluffy tail, as well as an average height of 24 inches and a weight range of 22 to 42 pounds. This wild dog is further distinguished by its square snout, its tiny upright ears, and thick sandy yellow to ginger red hair. Although some individuals can be white, black, or black tan, dingoes have brown, almond-shaped eyes. In addition, these dogs can be identified by white markings on their chest, feet, and the tip of the tail. A different population of the species might be found in Southeast Asia, which is considered the dingo's ancient homeland. However, Australia is their primary habitat. The origin of this wild dog is still debated. Some consider him a subspecies of the grey wolf, while others consider him as an independent species. However, it's believed that the dingoes were domestic dogs that arrived on the continent with their owners more than 5,000 years ago, after which escaped or abandoned animals multiplied and settled throughout Australia. Dingoes live in any secluded area near a body of water, including abandoned burrows and in the space beneath tree roots. Generally, dingoes are sociable animals, gathering in packs to mate and socialize. However, young adults often have a solitary life during non-mating seasons, though they may form close associations to hunt large prey. Dingo packs normally contain 3 to 12 animals, including a dominant male and a female, which are then determined through fierce standoffs. When gathering, these animals howl, they scent mark, and they come into conflict with each other. These dogs are very territorial animals. They choose the territory not according to the size of their pack, but depending on the characteristics of the environment like prey availability or terrain texture. They don't tend to bark, but they're known to howl, especially at night, attracting the pack members or scaring away intruders. Dingoes have spread throughout Australia for a reason. There are virtually no large predators that can compare with them. And the major reason is the abundance of easy prey of all sizes. That is a, a true hunter's fantasy. Dingoes are mostly nocturnal and crepuscular hunters, capable of traveling up to 37 miles each night in pursuit of food. However, if necessary, hunting might take place throughout the day. They're dexterous, agile, and very smart hunters with outstanding eyesight and hearing. Because a big component of their food consists of small animals, particularly rabbits, these wild dogs hunt alone or in groups, but they've also been known to go after much larger prey. They are carnivorous creatures that hunt anything from water buffalo to insects. Dingoes are opportunistic feeders, pursuing anything from mice to wallabies and kangaroos, rabbits to rats, geese, and lizards. They might also scavenge dead animals' corpses. Dingoes also eat some vegetation and fruit. Wrists of dingoes are very flexible. They're able to rotate very freely. Due to this ability, the paws act kind of like hands, allowing the animal to even turn a door handle. Along with the wrists, the head of the dingo is extremely agile, turning 180 degrees in each direction, which that's successfully used when tracking down prey often. When a large, fast, and deadly target is chosen as a victim, a collaboration becomes essential to success, basically. The gigantic kangaroo can reach speeds of over 37 miles per hour and weighs more than 110 pounds. Even if the younger generation attempts to overcome such a speedster alone, it's a different story when the entire pack joins in the chase. The dingo's top speed is 34 miles per hour, yet they're tough and they can follow prey for extended periods of time without tiring. During the chase, these predators swap places, giving them a distinct edge and allowing them to knock the kangaroo down. The giant red kangaroo, Australia's largest mammal by far, is another target of the ravenous gang. His weight might exceed 200 pounds and it can cover more than 30 feet in a single tremendous jump. Dingoes are monogamous and they'll mate for life. The dominant partner of the pack breeds in a group and the other pack members assist them in raising the pups. Australian dingoes mate from March to April, but Southeastern Asian dingoes mate from August to September. 
The gestation cycle lasts around 63 days and produces 4 to 5 pups on average. The female gives birth in a den. After 3 weeks, the pups start venturing out of the den. There is a recorded case of a female dingo moving 6 pups one by one over 6 miles by distance in a single night. That's making a journey of 112 miles in one night. Yeah, actually, I think the... Sorry, when I wrote this script, uh, that's, that's, that's uh, actually 72 miles, I think. <laughs> Anyways. The offspring are totally weaned by the age of 8 weeks. They have just left the den and they're now hunting with the pack. The pumps then begin to accompany adults on the hunt when they are 3 to 4 months old. Finally, around the age of 3, dingoes mate and remain together for the rest of their lives. So cute. These juvenile hunters learn to scavenge via trial and error, and they don't always obtain what they want. Even if the prey doesn't try to flee, the echidna's numerous sharp needles protect her from the dog's ravenous jaws. Puppies learn to act as a team too. A monitor lizard spotted on the shore is targeted, but the hunters, once again, are disappointed. The lizard flees into the water, deterring the pups from pursuing further. Soon after, the predator's hunting skills develop to a new level, and it begins hunting alone in an attempt to remove this wild boar piglet from its mother. The dog's extraordinary endurance gives the boars no chance of evading capture. The second strike separates the piglet from his mother, leaving the predator to complete what it had started. The capacity of the dingo's mouth to expand wildly is a distinctive trait. Teeth are massive, pointed, and uniformly distributed across the mouth, with small gaps between them. Dingoes have bigger teeth than dogs of comparable size, however, they don't suffer from dental overcrowding like their domestic counterparts. Dingoes are a genuine nightmare for a lot of local farmers since they readily prey on domestic sheep, killing as many as they can before a person approaches. As a result, wild dogs were shot, hunted, and trapped for a very long time. Farmers eventually began fencing their properties, isolating the most fruitful terrain with a barrier more than 4,040 miles long, which is continually patrolled in search of damage in underground tunnels. You might have heard the phrase, a dingo ate my baby. Baby, the dingo ate your baby. Which is a cry popularly attributed to Lindy Chamberlain Creighton as part of the 1980s death of Azaria Chamberlain and her nine-week-old baby in the 1980s at Uluru in the Northern Territory, Australia. The Chamberlain family had been camping near the rock when their nine-year-week-old daughter was taken from their tent by a dingo. Prosecuting authorities rejected her story about a dingo as far-fetched, charging her with murder and securing convictions against her also against her then-husband Michael Chamberlain as an accessory after the fact. After years of challenge in the courts, both parents were absolved of the crime, and the coroner found Azaria's death was the result of being attacked and taken by a dinga. The phrase is popularized via the case, but, but Chamberlain is reported to have either called out to her husband one of these. The dingo's got my baby. The dingo took my baby. The dingo took my baby! The dingo's got my baby! Or... My god, my god, a dingo has got my baby. If there's an Australian listening, I'm sorry, I'm an American and accents are fun. This not only shows the ruthless nature of dingoes, but also shows how terrifying that they can be when it comes to cunningness and devious nature. Dingoes live in the wild for 7 to 10 years, and they're easily interbreeding with domestic dogs, which is a concern since the progeny becomes more aggressive and prolific because these hybrids might procreate twice a year. The urbanization of Australia's coastal and desert areas fosters interaction between these two, resulting in dilution and possibly the extinction of their gene pool. These creatures are sold in Asian food markets, where their flesh is an essential source of nourishment for indigenous people. The canine of the dingo is often utilized as adornment in Indonesia and the Pacific Islands. Although highly adaptable and tenacious, the dingo has endured over 200 years of trapping, baiting, shooting, hunting, and habitat loss since the European settlement. The pure dingo is listed as a vulnerable species by the IUCN, with many experts believing that its true status is critically endangered. Some fear the extinction of the pure Australian dingo commenced as of 2020. Dingo dogs are said to have driven species like the marsupial wolf and marsupial devil from the continent. The first thought to be extinct, whereas the second is found exclusively on the island of Tasmania, thus the name Tasmanian Devil. Dingoes help prevent the extinction of some endangered creatures by exterminating their enemies and restricting the number of rabbits that breed in large numbers in Australia. So tell us what you think of this beautiful, ancient, tenacious, smart and fast exterminator, agile, sociable Australian apex predator and hunter-killer beast in the comment section below. Also, you know, why not leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button with your paws and hit that notification bell for more incredible beasts. Thanks for watching and I'm sorry, again. 
and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>